Hello and welcome to a new MA Tips video. Today we talk about the 3D and the new way of integrating the 3D in the console software. One of the fundamental changes in GrandMA 3 is that the 3D is now integrated into the console software. So especially when you know GrandMA 2 where we have the console software and the 3D software as two different parts, now it's all integrated in one software. This has the advantage that we can use the 3D anywhere in the console as a view. So for example, when we see our view here with the fixture sheet and a sequence pool, I can just select an empty view and select my 3D over here. We can find it in the common pool and I just open the 3D where we can see all our fixtures and the visualization of our look. Let's talk a little bit about the performance. For sure, you will see that you can use smaller or mid-sized 3D shows with a little bit of environment and fixture types within the console and it will run very smoothly as you can see over here. When your 3D show gets bigger and your environment gets more complex, you might need additional hardware to get resources that increase your performance for the 3D. So you have the advantage that you also can use the 3D with an on-PC software on an external hardware. Therefore, we have a very useful option in the 3D window settings, which you can open via the MA button at the top left corner, where you can see under miscellaneous that we have an option which is called 3D priority. This is very useful when you use the 3D on external hardware because then all the resources will be used to render the 3D to run it smoothly. Please keep in mind that also when you have a complex 3D show on your console running, your DMX output will never be affected. So the DMX output always has a higher priority than calculating and rendering the 3D. But we recommend not to activate this 3D priority option on a console because otherwise the graphical user interfaces for other views might get slower when you have a complex and very big 3D environment. Another big advantage of the integrated 3D we can see when we remember the last MA Tips video where we talked about the MVR import. You know, we import MVR to get the whole environment from our Vectorworks plan inside our console. That means when we use the integrated 3D, we can directly control our fixtures via this 3D and have the same feeling like our lighting plan in Vectorworks. In one of the next videos, we will talk about some useful tools in the 3D, like the follow mode or some labeling options. Up to then, stay tuned and see you next time.